Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the lesson today. Before talking about the Trio Sonata and your grade 8 music theory exam, I would like to share a little story about our experience uh, this time round during the exam. As you know, we have some young uh, children who are taking this uh, grade 8 music theory. According to them, uh, they have difficulties to find keys during the exam in order to work out the answer. For instance, I have been telling uh, my students that you need to find out the key before you work out the uh, work out the answer, like the chord progression. But for those young students who have difficulties to find the chords, I ask them what did they do? Did they just leave it blank or they come up with some uh, other solution? They told me that they can just figure out the chords by finding it's a major or minor. From there, they decide uh, which loop they can double and which loop they fill in. So for this figure base, you just need to count according to the numbers from the base. So this is what they do. Okay, by looking at the numbers, then they count from a base loop and they get what are the loops that to be uh, filled in and the answer. So I think it's pretty interesting. So it's better than uh, you, we leave it blank and you cannot find the key and you leave it blank and you're going to score you're not going to score so in the end they still manage to pass well okay so I think this is a pretty interesting story um, on top of that I like to uh, thank everyone for signing up for my uh, lesson my individual and online lessons also people who subscribe uh, to my channel you have been sharing my channel with your friends and the video to share with your friends and I'm glad to see the community is growing uh, bigger and bigger and I even see some uh, students, some subscribers leave their comments below my video saying that they are unable to join my lesson but by looking at and learning from my YouTube free lesson they managed to pass their grade exam which I am very happy to hear that. So please continue to share with your friends and share the video. It motivates me to create more free video in the future. So um, let's talk about uh, the figure uh, the figure base. Figure base means figure from the base. And most students have difficulties to write the suspension. Okay, they don't know how to count. For instance, when you have a suspension of 9-8 okay, We have 9-8 9-8 suspension, 9-8, 7, 6 and so on So 9 to 8 When you have 9 to 8 It's the 9 note that needs to be uh, suspended from the previous uh, harmony Okay, This 9 note has to be tied You need to find another note that is the same as this 9 note that you count from a bass 7, 6 or so you need to count from a bass uh, the bass note 7 step from the bass note for instance when you have uh, suspension like this like what you see here there is a 7, 6 okay there is a 7, 6 then you count 7 step from a bass and then this 7 note Okay, or this 4 3, the fourth note from a bass has to be tied from the previous previous beat. So, in a le lesson later, I'm going to show you how to uh, count and how to figure out this suspended note. So, in overall, the purpose of adding the suspension is to create a dissonant sound before you resolve it. So, there are three steps um, preparation, uh, Suspension and resolution, and let's talk about a little bit about this um, trio sonata. Uh, this, yeah, trio sonata. Mm, basically, the trio sonata has three lines. Okay, three lines um, going on. So the upper two lines usually are solo instrument. For instance, it can be violin one, violin two, clarinet one, clarinet two, and the bass line usually will uh, have a basso continuum. What is basso continuum? Um, during Baroque period, people uh, compose this is for basso continuum can be a harpsichord or any other keyboard player to uh, improvise on the piano. By looking at the number, it's pretty amazing. They can uh, create and improvise their own accompaniment to support the 
a solo instrument on top okay like violin one like in this case it's violin two so i think it's pretty amazing they are fast enough to count the numbers and come up with their hub with the harmony uh, to accompany the instrument and it's not so straightforward like the four parts writing in your grade 6 music theory exam in grade 6 theory exam you just need to stick to the rules of four parts writing okay so it's, you will have to take care of the vertical um, movement of the harmony progression but for grade 8 this trio sonata not only you need to take care of the uh, chords vertically the harmony vertically you also need to take care of the line the shape of the melody make sure you have a nice shape and form nice melody in your uh, horizontal line so people look at it uh, vertically in terms of harmony vertically it form good harmony and chord progression and horizontally it form a very good melody melodic and uh, musical shape so um, without further ado let's start the lesson now if you think my tutorial is useful please uh, continue to subscribe click like it will give me motivation to create more video thank you so much for watching um, thank you hello welcome back to another lesson uh, today let's talk about this piece of uh, trio sonata by Corelli from 2019 paper b Okay, first of all, we can analyze the key. So this one has an F sharp. The key signature is F sharp. So uh, everyone please take note, when the key signature is F sharp, you have two possibilities. One possibility, it can be a G major. Another possibility, it can be E minor. Okay, I always tell my student to look at these two. Okay, G major or E minor. You can only have these two possibilities in the beginning. So uh, how to decide whether it's a major or minor? Okay, just by looking at the opening note, and also accidentals. You can see that accidental is everywhere. Okay, it's first of all, it's like with tonic E. So it's very likely to be an E minor. And on top of that, you can see there is a D sharp, a D sharp. But in third bar, the D suddenly got no sharp. So what is going on here? You look at the bass note. This is E, D, C, B. Okay, if you notice my one of my videos that talk about modulations and identifying of key, uh, I've mentioned that. E, D, C, B is going down. Now the E minor scale is going down. E, D, C, B. Okay, so in descending uh, movement. Uh, over here, the natural, the B, is because this is in melodic form. Okay. They are doing this uh, bass melody in melodic form. So the six and seven note are natural. Okay. So the D has no sharp and C has no sharp. Okay. So by looking at this, we know that there is no modulation. Please don't go to G major, okay? A lot of students thought, oh, this is G major, but this is not. Uh, so you need to look at the direction of your bass melody. Because the sharp here, in bar four, there is a sharp. And when there is no number next to the sharp, that means it's the third note, okay? No number next to the sharp means the third note has sharp. So from B, you count three steps, it's D. So this is a D sharp. Okay, so I hope you understand that uh, for this figure base exercise, you need to count from the base. Okay, so we must first name the base note B. So B, count three steps. B, one, two, three. So B, C, D. So this sharp uh, is referring to D sharp. By looking at this, you know that this sharp is a D sharp. Okay, so there is a D sharp. So it's still, uh, you have still B, C, D. So this is still a D sharp. Okay, so the, you see, C sharp. Okay, let's, just now I mentioned that this is a melodic minor. So the six and seven note are raised. Okay, and then it ends with E. So by looking at the opening, ending, are uh, both E, and you have so many D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, you know that this entire piece is still in E, uh, e minor. The first and second line are in E minor. Okay, now we have decided the key is E minor already. Next step, let's look at the, all the suspension. So please don't forget, we need to count from a base note. Okay, so write the letter name, base note. So this is a B, this is G, this is B sharp. 
C, B, G. You can write down all the letter names for a bit first. C sharp, B sharp, E, B, E. Okay, can you please identify, do you know how to identify the suspension? Suspension is the one, those figure base that have short hyphen, okay? So please uh, circle all the suspension. So this is a suspension. This is a suspension. The suspension, okay? So later on, you will not include this in the harmony. Okay, so we are done. We have identified all the suspension. Okay, now next step is to write name the chords. So this is a B at the base and no number. So if there's no number, means this is a root position. So this is a B, B, D, F, B, D, F. So this is called five. So six, you need to memorize. This is the only one that you need to memorize that you cannot count. Six means the G is in the middle note. G is the middle note. So G at the middle, so the root note will be E. The fifth note will be B. So this is an E, G, B, chord one, uh, first inversion. Okay, so minor chord first inversion, uh, usually double third is nice. Uh, so this is six. Uh, that means the D is a middle note. So this will be a B, D, F. Okay, so when you see six, that means the, the base note is at the middle. So this one is a suspension. So please remember that Suspended note don't belong to the chord. So this is suspension, and the chord itself will be a root position chord. Okay, so this will be E, G, B. So every time you see suspension and you don't see any other number, that means this is this chord itself is a root position chord. So D, F, A. Uh, so this is a chord seven. Okay, next one. Uh, second line, first bar. Uh, this is suspension. So the chord itself is just C, E, G. So this is called six. And this one, no number is root position. So B, D, F. And this one, six means the base note is in the middle. So G is the middle note of the chord. If G is the middle note of the chord, then this will be E, G, B, minor chord, okay? E, G, B is a minor chord because uh, E to G is a minor third, G to B is a major third. So minor third and major third, it form a minor chord. So E, G, B is a minor chord, usually uh, one B, okay? So B means first version. So nine, eight suspension. So you don't look at the suspension, the chord itself is A, C, E, which is chord four. And over here, this is the B, so B, D, F. B has a sharp. And what does a four here means? Okay, this four doesn't belong to suspension. Okay, a suspension I have already circled. Okay, so the four doesn't belong to suspension, means the four is a chord note. So from B count four set B, one, two, three, four. So B, C, B, E. Okay, so B count four set is E. So from here you know that this is E and B are uh, chord note. So from here you know this is a, a E G B chord, which is a second version. I use a red color. So E, G, B. So from here, uh, since B is at the base, B is at the base, so you know that this is a second version chord. So this is chord one, second version, okay? So next one is C sharp. Next base note is a C sharp, count six steps, okay? So uh, from C sharp, you count six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. C, D, E, F, G, A. So six step is A. Okay, C count five step is G. Okay, so from here, uh, you have C, you have A, you have G. So the, no, the chords are disorganized now. Let's organize the chords by finding the two notes that are third apart. So in this chord, A and C are third apart. So we write down A, C. Now, how about the G? The G cannot put in front of them because G to A doesn't form a third. So G cannot put in front. So you can put the G behind. So A, C, and G. If you put the G behind, the note here is missing. One note is missing. So you just need to fill in the note, which is E. Okay. So by doing this, all the notes are three steps apart. Okay. A, C, E, G. 
he formed a chord very nicely. So A, C, E, G. Okay, so this is what I mean by third apart. A to C is third apart, C to E is third, C, E to G is third. So we need to organize the chord again when the chord, uh, the note given is uh, random. So in E minor, A, C, E, G is chord four. Uh, four, seven, and then C at the base. So first inversion. Next one is B, F, A. So uh, root position, very straightforward. So it's chord seven. Next one, no other number. You don't see other number. So this is just a root position chord. So this is an EGB. So next one is BDF. BDF. Then this is one. EGB. So next, uh, when you have BDF, let's look at this chord now. We have BDF. Hmm. I guess you may want to have the third to be there because uh, third always makes the music sound good. So you can put a D sharp okay, to form a third. Okay. Uh, next one, when the chord is EGB, which note is important? The well, root note is important. So you need to give priority to E. So also because the D sharp is leading note, leading note and tonic always must be resolved. Next one is B, D, F. So B is already done, B. So after B and D, you can fill in the F, right? Because this is the nearest note, okay? So now you see, just now we have, I always tell my students you, to avoid big jump, but it is okay to have big jump sometimes to, in order to form a nice interval of third. So after the big jump, okay, you better move in stepwise. Okay, next bar, five to six. So this one has an interval. So every time when the that bar has an interval, you need to settle the interval first. So E count five step is B, E, F, G, A, B. E count six step is C. Okay, so this C must write above this number six. Okay, so you must settle this uh, suspension first. Okay, so I circle this. This B to C, I settle first. This comes from five to six. So the rest of the note, uh, which is here. Okay, I use the pink color to represent chord note. The rest of the note must come from EGB. Okay, EGB is the chord note. So the rest of the space, you need to put EGB. Okay, so I put G. Okay, because it's nearest. Also because E to G, it form a nice interval of third. Okay, let's continue the next, uh, next, next chord is seven, six again. So I circle this. So D count seven set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So D count seven set. B, E, F, G, A, B, C. So it's a C. Uh, now you need to decide where will you put the C D count six step is B. Where will you put the D, uh, the C and B? So you need to look for the part where you have C in the previous bit. So over here you have a C in the second bit. Okay, so you can put your suspension here. C and B. C, B. So this is seven step from the base, seven step from the D. And then this is six step from, from this note. Okay, so this is seven to six uh, suspension. So seven, six, then the seven note must be tied from previous B. Okay, so this is the, the reason why I put C and B here. Of course, you have a C here. Okay, so the previous bit, it has a C, so it can tie over. So if you put here, then you cannot tie because this is a G, then you cannot tie. Okay, so. The rest of the uh, of this bar will come from D F A. Okay, the chords, the harmony itself is a D F A. Mm, so uh, you have a D here, so I put an F. Okay, so because this is the nearest and this form third apart. Okay, so that's the reason why I choose an F. Now next line. 
Okay, so now you can see that uh, this belong to the suspension. Okay, and then the notes that I write in pink, it belongs to the court. Okay, so we will continue to do uh, this way uh, in the second line. Mm. So look at more example, then you will have a better understanding. So next one is a CEG. Again, you have a suspension. So C count seven step is B. C count six step is A. So B and A. Again, you need to tie this B from a previous B. So in previous B, the B is in the top line. So in this bar, your seven six suspension, which is a B A, will be at the top line also. B uh, to A. Okay, and then the rest of the notes is from the chord, from the CEG chord, okay? So this one, the E. Okay, so these were from the harmony itself, okay? Because the suspension already is uh, Next one, B, D, F. Okay, this one no suspension, so you just put the Oh, sorry, just now I forgot to change this. Okay, the pink color belongs to the chord. So this is C, E, G. Okay, so these come from the harmony. Okay, again, I uh, repeat again. This suspension belongs to this blue color, seven, six. The pink color belongs to the harmony. Okay, let's continue. The next chord is B, D, F. So I change back to blue. Okay, so I think for from here onwards, the chord notes harmony, I will use the pink color instead. So this is B, D, F. Okay, this one is harmony. Okay, so you have B at the base. Uh, the top note, I will choose B because that is the nearest, nearest to the previous note, A. And the middle note, I will put D because tonic go to leading note is the best solution. Tonic and leading note are always together. Next chord is E, G, B. Okay, so the B is already there. Okay, you have G, you have B. And then the tonic is missing. So I will prefer to have tonic above the B chord. So I will put E because I feel that tonic is very important. So E, G, B. And on top of that, I get a full chord. You can see that this is E, G, B, full chord, okay? Next one, there is a suspension, 9, 8. Okay, so this suspension, they already did for you. They already done for you. So A count, 9 set is B. Sorry, should use blue color. Okay, all the suspension, I use blue color. A count, 9 set is B. A count, 8 set is A. So B to A is done. Okay, this one is a suspension from here. Okay, so the rest of the note, should come from a harmony, which is A, C, E. Okay, I write in pink. A, C, E. So find the notes, the nearest note uh, in the top voice. So I can choose C. Okay, and then here I choose an E to find the first two uh, crotchet bit. Uh, next one, B count seven step is A. B count six step is G. So you need an A to G. So over here, there's an A. By right, we need to have an A here. Okay, and then we tie over. Usually it's two crochet and then tie to G. So this is a seven, six suspension. But you see, this is a, something unusual. They merge these two. These two are tie note. They merge crochet, crochet, one plus one is two. They merge into a minimum. So you cannot change the minimum bit, okay? so. In this is a special case where seven tie note is merged into one minimum and then six. Okay, so this is a special case that don't have a tie. It happens sometimes. So seven six is already done. Now the rest of the note is from B D F. Okay, cop five. So I write in pink color. The chord note, the rest of the chord note should come from B D F. So B. I will put the D, don't forget there is a sharp. Okay, this sharp is referring to three steps from base. So B, C, D. So the D has sharp, three steps from a base, okay? That's a sharp. So when you write a D, don't forget to write a sharp here. Mm. 
And the next chord is E, G, B, okay? So E, G, B, the E is missing, so I will put E. Also because the leading note and tonic must be resolved, okay? The leading note must be resolved to tonic note. Uh, the next chord is A, C, E, G. Often I will uh, remind my student when the chord has four notes, try to find the first and last, the important chords. So uh, the next chord, there is a G. Okay, I will put the G here, important. Uh, then the root note A is missing, so I will put on top. Okay, so like that A and G, important notes are in. Okay, next one is the D, F, a. Okay, I forgot that this is a chord note, so I should use a uh, pink color. So A, C, E, G. This is not a suspension. Okay, so uh, G at middle line, A at a top line. Next one is B, F, A. So B, uh, B sharp, so uh, F, and then uh, A at the top voice. Okay, so the, if there's no translation, you just spin the notes as per normal. Next one, there's a 9 8 suspension. So E tau 9 step is F. E tau 9 step is F. E tau 8 step is E. So um, this suspension, the F must be tied from previous beat. So in previous beat, we have F in the middle line. So in this case, we will just put F here. So the nine note is here, and then eight is here. Okay, so this suspension is done. Okay, so the blue color belongs to suspension. Now I change to pink color, which, which means it belongs to the harmony itself. Okay, so the harmony itself is called one E, G, B. So the top line, uh, you have an E at the base. So top line, I want to have a third. So I put a G. Okay, sustain for two bars. Next one, uh, there is a 4 3 suspension. When there's no number, uh, it means 3. Okay, so B count 4 step is E. 4, and then B count 3 step is B sharp. Okay, so happen that next note is E. Again, we resolve leading to and tonic. Okay, so suspension is done. So the rest of the note is on B, D, F. So the chord itself is B, D, F. So the F can put on top, okay, F. Next chord is E, G, B. So we have E and E already. The chord is E, G, B. Okay, so I will put G to form third with the bass note. Okay, because third always sound good for a music composition. Okay, beside third, six is also a good interval. Okay, because when E and G form a third, some students will say, uh, how about G and E, E on top and then G below. It form, when you switch these two positions, they become six. So three and six are always a good interval to use for your music composition. Okay, so uh, that's all for today. I have already covered all the suspension on how to fill in the suspension. Hopefully, uh, you find this useful. Please continue to um, subscribe and click like if you find my uh, video useful. It's very important to me and share this with, with your friends or uh, colleagues. More subscribers will inspire me and to uh, encourage me more motivation to create more free lessons. Okay, thank you for, for your support and thank you for watching. I see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much. Goodbye.